Good afternoon, uh, Andrew Benioff for Lenrock and uh, Lenrock Blog. Welcome. Um, I'm here today with Kim Diamond, uh, Senior Managing Director for the Kroll Bond Rating Agency. Kim, thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Appreciate it. A little about Kim. Uh, Ms. Diamond is, a, as I said, Senior Managing Director and Head of Structured Finance at the Kroll Bond Rating Agency. Uh, previously, she was Managing Director at Standard & Poor's, responsible for U.S. commercial mortgage ratings business. Um, she currently sits on the Board of Governors of the Commercial Real Estate Finance Council, uh, CREFC. In 2012, Kim was awarded with the Founders Award by CREFC for her outstanding work for the association. Uh, she received a BA from Cornell University and an MBA from Columbia University. Um, Kim, let's start and start talking about after the recession. Yep. Um, the major credit rating agencies were criticized for their ratings of certain bond offerings, both in and outside of the real estate industry. Yep. Um, how has the credit rating industry uh, changed in the wake of the recession Dodd-Frank and other recent events? Yep. I mean, probably the biggest change has been in the space of regulation. What most people don't realize is that the credit rating agencies were actually regulated starting in 2006. You had the Rating Agency Reform Act, which was put in place in 2006, predominantly to manage either the real or perceived conflicts of interest that exist because the rating agencies are more, most often chosen and paid by the institutions, organizations, or entities that they have been hired to rate. Um, you know, the perversity is any time with regulation you have the intended consequence and then you have the unintended consequences. So. You know, there's, there's a good example of one regulation that's been put in place post-crisis um, in the structured finance rating space, including CMBS, and that is Provision 17G5. The regulators came up with this, this rule in an effort to encourage um, rating agencies that were not actually hired to rate any given transaction to have access to all of the information that the hired rating agencies got with the ultimate goal of encouraging those agencies to issue unsolicited ratings. The theory or the thesis behind this was that this would mitigate rating shopping. If issuers figured or thought that it was a possibility that the agencies they didn't hire were going to issue unsolicited commentary or unsolicited ratings. Mm -hmm. The thought was that they would be more thoughtful in terms of who they chose to rate the deal and they wouldn't be uh, looking for the best economic execution. So how many unsolicited ratings do you think came out of this 17 G5 rule across all of the structured finance markets? I'm going markets? to guess very few. Zero. Zero. Okay. <laughs> um, and in fact, you know, the primary unintended consequence or the one thing that I fear in particular, as especially for commercial real estate rated bonds, is the impact that this rule will have on the ongoing surveillance side of the business. Because all the information needs to be posted on a password-protected website, if a loan goes bad and gets transferred to special servicing, the only form of communication that a rating agency can have about that loan mm -hmm. has to go through 17G5. So all of the questions that the agency has about the status of the workout and things of that nature have to get posted on a website the servicer then has to look at the questions and answer the questions by posting the responses on the website. So in the best case scenario, the worst thing that happens is you, you lose time. You used to be able to just pick up the telephone, call the special servicers, and have a dialogue about what's going on. Now you have this very stilted form of conversation, which hasn't really been a problem in the benign environment we've experienced thus far, but if we do start to see a downturn and we start to see loans having problems, this has the potential to be a disaster. Very interesting. So the intended and unintended of consequences. Of course, always. Yep. Very interesting. Um, yep. Wonderful. Um, well, 